Into the Bunker is the second episode of Gravity Falls second season and 22nd overall. In it, Wendy actually joins the crew. They find a secret bunker and discover the author. Or do they? Shenanigans ensue. This is a little piece of art that was unused for the episode and no one knows why. The episode begins with Dipper and Wendy hanging out and watching cheesy movies. I do that too. They're watching Nearly Almost Dead, but not quite. I've seen that. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. We saw Wendy's room for the first time last episode, but now we have better lighting. She's got a zombie poster and she stole some signs, which she does later in this episode. This is our first time seeing the exterior of her house. This is the episode where it's made 100% clear she's the daughter of Manly Dan. We can see an R plus W, Robbie plus Wendy, carved into this tree that's about to be cut down. Dipper accidentally laying on Wendy's bra and freaking out is a very funny and very relatable thing. For a kid to be freaked out around other people's underwear. Unfortunately, this line was cut on the re-airing on the Disney Channel. The Mystery Shack is getting repaired after the events of last episode. Stan only appears in this section of the episode, making this his shortest appearance in the entire series. The Mystery Twins Zeus and Wendy go back to the tree from the first episode and discover that there's a hidden bunker underneath. This is a reference to Mist, which apparently Alex Hirsch confirmed was a big influence on the entire show. Wendy does the little zipper mouth thing she did in the inconveniencing. Mabel's line of, allow me to put on my skepticals, was one of the first lines that Alex Hirsch came up with while coming up with the ideas for Dipper in 2011. The bunker's rations go all the way up to 2070. For some reason, I really like watching videos of people trying old war rations. Smez is a reference to Pez, the cool collectible that comes with awful candy. Originally, the lab code Zeus finds was going to say McGucket, but that's a spoiler. Originally, just like Mist, the tree was going to be an elevator and not a staircase, and there would have been a part where the group found a basement lab and were like, well, nothing's here, and then the portal turned on and we saw Stan, working on it with Waddles, and there would have even been a little camera in the lab looking in the bunker. It was eventually scrapped. Not as creepy as Dipper's internet history. Hey! This is pretty realistic sibling banter. But don't look at another man's hurt history. What's wrong with you? This trap room where everything's kind of shifting reminds me of that one part from Clone Wars. They find the Collector, and he's played by the ever-awesome Mark Hamill. Well, I just ripped out a monster's tongue. But it turns out he's an imposter. He's a shape-shifting alien thing. And being a shape-shifting alien thing that takes the form of humans while having a kind of bug theme is a reference to John Carpenter's The Thing. Wendy's line, Hey Body Snatcher, is a reference to Invasion of the Body Snatcher. That six-fingered nerd hasn't been himself in 30 years! So this is our first descriptive note about the author. He hasn't been himself in a while. He's a he. Also the reason why the shapeshifter doesn't just turn into the author Revealed in the official journal, the author actually just kind of masked himself so the shapeshifter wouldn't take his form. They take the form of the Grim Noblin, which we see the page of from the episode Boss Mabel, a gnome, Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, which would have been brand new at the time, Gravity Falls is old, a frog chemif, a bug, a hand thane, Dipper and Mabel, Dipper and Mabel as a direct reference to John Carpenter's The Thing, which was cut from the Disney Channel airing, and Wendy, and then the two Wendy's get in a fight. The part where one of them kicks the other in the chest was cut from the Disney Channel, Aaron, because of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? In Disney. There's the classic, no, I'm the real Wendy. No, I'm the real Wendy. Shoot her. She's the clone. One of them winks and smiles at Dipper, but the other one has a more serious face and does the zipper mouth thing. So of course, that's the real one, and Dipper slashes the shapeshifter in the gut, and it bleeds green, and it convulses in agony. This part was cut from the Disney Channel airing, but this is a little more reasonable censorship. They trap the Thane in a cryotube. It tries escaping by turning into a golem and then into fire. If you keep digging, you'll meet a fate worse than you can imagine. And this will be the last form you ever take! <laughs> Good luck sleeping tonight! Well, that's horrifying. And the part where Zeus says the funny line of good luck sleeping tonight was cut from the Disney Channel airing. Dipper finally admits his feelings to Wendy, 
Originally, they were going to leave on a more awkward note, but I really like this note of Wendy being flattered, but Dipper still has some growing to do, but they still can be friends. The line, don't feel itchy, was cut in the Disney Channel airing, because why not at this point? And Wendy references the bottomless pit! Mabel already has ideas for shipping for Dipper. And a briefcase Zeus found turns out to be a laptop. The end credits play over. Gravity Falls Bargain Movie Showcase! The Willowest Vampire! Well, I've seen that. I loved that film as a kid. The Planet People of Planet Planet. Help! My mummy's a werewolf, which I'm half convinced is real. Attack of the exclamation points. A man with no taste. Ghost turtle. It doesn't sound that bad. And help! My mummy's a werewolf too. This again, which appears to be a surfer movie. Also this Willis vampire. A lot of people took this as a sign that Gideon was a vampire. Because Will Gideon, Will Vampire. And... Mabel said she wanted to date a vampire next, and she so happened to date Gideon next. It's a very poor theory. Our key is shifter, appropriately. Our secret code is... What kind of disaster, indeed. Our page is a little science thing. Improper use of machinery could lead to other catastrophe. There's also another code that says... Ice Ice Baby, which is a reference to a Vanilla Ice song. Mabel outfit check. She wears a pink sweater with a functional light bulb. Oh, rad! Although, isn't electric clothing kind of like a fire hazard? No, it's a fun hazard. Not this is a fantastic episode. It's great that we're finally trying to learn about the author. The shapeshifter is a creepy villain, wonderfully played by Mark Hamill. The set design and lighting's beautiful. But the heart of the episode is Wendy. I love seeing her and Dipper being friends. I love her being part of the group more. I love the mature way she lets Dipper down so they can just be friends. And I love Gravity Falls. I've been down here for a very long time. Years. Weeks, maybe. I miss orange juice. 